Alright, say something, make sure I got the audio. Say something, make sure I have the audio. <laughs> no way! <laughs> <laughs> I guess my natural hair is more different than others because I used to get relaxers all the time. So once I started wearing my natural hair, I guess people kind of see me differently in a way. I didn't realize a lot of people envied Asian hair. They would always comment like, oh, your hair is like so nice. It's so soft and shiny. And I didn't realize that that was like something to brag about or have pride in. But I think that's something I've learned to like about myself. Um, I'm mixed. My mom's white and my dad's black, so I kind of got a little bit of both of their hair. Um, it tends to do whatever it wants to. Um, it kind of curls some days, other days it's just straight up frizz. Um, it's just however the weather is outside too. It's like, is it going to rain? I don't know. We're going to figure out when we step outside and see what it's going to do. My hair journey, to be honest, I would just get in the shower and then get out and just go like this and my hair would like twist up and like curls kind of. Then after a while I just stopped doing it and it turned into this. So basically you can say it's kind of free form or not free form. But at first they were sister locked. They were real small and like real close. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, I've learned to always, always brush it when it's wet and not even brush it at this point. I use a wide tooth comb like in the shower and a lot of leave-in products to keep it you know, moisturized and soft. Cause about once every other week, I threatened to cut off all of my hair because I hate it. I'm like, I'm just gonna cut it off and never do anything again. How long have I had it? Can I touch it? What do you use to wash your hair? Um, how long have you had it this way? Would you ever consider cutting it off? Stuff like that. When people touch it without permission. Uh, COVID, one. Too. It's just rude. Like you wouldn't just randomly walk up to someone and grab them by their shirt and be like, I really like your shirt. If you don't know them, like, don't do that. Um, I think the worst or what upsets me the most is people will see my hair and they're like, oh, it's so pretty and just go to touch it without even like asking, like, I don't know where your hands have been. And also hair to me is like one of the ways I express myself for sure. And it's like an art piece to me because I spend so much time making it look good. So something, someone coming up just like touch it or grab it messes up what I spent so long on, like the hours in the bathroom of I'm going to cut my hair off or I don't want to do this anymore. Like that's probably one of the worst things to have someone just come up and mess it up. I think a lot of people, because hair culture is very big. Typically in East Asia, if you look at K-pop, they'll always have dyed hair, permed hair, and they have like really a lot of diverse array of cuts and people always comment like why'd they do their hair like that or why they have such like why they dye their hair every time when hair dye is bad for them and I, I don't think they realize that Asian people typically only have dark hair that's just in their genetics and that's how they differentiate th themselves that's how they express themselves through their hair so I think I wish people would just stop commenting on why they do what they do. I don't know, people just be like, oh, those are dreads. I'm like, okay, yeah, they kind of are, but I never really had my hair twisted at all. Like, I never had my hair twisted a day in my life. So that's mainly a misconception. Well, I go to this special place because I buy like natural stuff. So it's kind of expensive and I don't really know the name of anything because my mom just goes and gets it for me. Lots of leave-ins. If it has like shea butter in it, that is like the best stuff to use for my hair. Um, I don't really use that much oil in my hair because my hair is also like half, you know, straight and you know half curly. So like it absorbs way too much and it just like sticks and it's gross. <laughs> I look like I've showered in four weeks. <laughs> I, to be honest, I don't take. I know I try to take care of my hair as much as possible, but I am so lazy. I use two in one shampoo, which is like horrible for your hair. I know it is, but a lot of it is you need to like try products out. Don't just stick with one shampoo your whole life because I've switched like five shampoos. You need to like buy a good product. Don't go to like Walgreens and buy the cheapest stuff there. You need to like buy something good for your hair and then you need to like actually maintain it. Like don't skip a day like oh you know I don't have to wash my hair this week or next week like keep up with it and your hair will sufficiently get better and I also take like vitamins 
to get my hair good, so. Nothing, I just wash it. <laughs> I just wash it, I don't like, I just get in the shower, wash my hair, shampoo, conditioner, hop out, shake my hair. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Like before it was in this like way, I used to use like shea butter and stuff like that. And that's how I think how my hair kind of actually got like this because of using that. So I did use that once in a while, but now it's just shampoo and conditioner. I don't have dreads, I have locks. <laughs> that's what I want to add. Oh, I like it a lot. I like everything about it. It just, uh, it creates who I am basically. It just gives me a new way of style. I can do a whole lot of things with it. Like I can put it up in a ponytail, I can braid it. I have my sister braid it. So that's pretty much it, I like it a lot. It takes a lot of work to do what I do. Um, it's a lot of fun and I don't know, it's just always something new. It's never gonna be the same. I could try a hairstyle and do it two days in a row and it's not gonna look the same both days.